Hi, uh, today's paper is about in-context learning and demonstrations. Um, so the title is Rethinking the Role of Demonstrations and What Makes In-Context Learning Work. So before moving forward, I, I let me give you a brief about what in-context learning is and what are demonstrations. Uh, so in-context learning is a, a method where the language model is frozen and it's given a prompt okay and the prompt consists of examples right now there are three examples okay and um, and then the, then there is a test input and the model has to predict the output for this one so the only thing here we are doing is uh, giving it this prompt and it is found that the way we provide the prompt matters so in this paper they uh, investigate four aspects uh, for four aspects about these demonstrations and um, uh, let me give you a brief about what these aspects are okay so four aspects of demonstration which is under study is one is input label mapping so what is that so th the thing in the yellow is input the thing in the green is the label so uh, the first one refers to the mapping between um, it, it refers to the mapping between the input and the output okay so what they found was uh, if you reshuffle these uh, labels keeping the input same for example first one is, is assigned to negative so, so they are not the true label but they belong to this label space and they are assigned randomly uh, the model performance does doesn't decrease much so which is a good thing so yeah that's one of the uh, result of this paper uh, but anyways this is one of the aspects second is the distribution of input how we should provide the x um, and then the third is label space what should be the constituents of the label space and fourth is the format uh, which I just uh, removed. So fourth is how this should we have a format. Whether we should be giving, uh, whether we should be giving um, only input or only label, or should we have to give the input pair? Okay. So that's just about this paper. It talks about these four aspects, and it says that this part, this one aspect, is not that important, but all other three are important okay so let's go back to the uh, abstract of this paper so large language models are able to in context learn uh, however there has been little understanding of how the model learns and which aspects of the demonstration contribute to the end task performance okay so which aspect of the demonstration is the key thing in this paper we show that ground truth demonstrations are in fact not required what it means is that input output mapping um, it's not that uh, relevant uh, for in context learning however the other three are important and they are using uh, 12 models which i'm going to uh, explain a little bit about experimental setup uh, so they are using six language models and two inference methods for each one of them and these two inference methods looks like one is direct mode model and one is a channel mode for a direct model it's the simple uh, you have an input and you have an output uh, for channel model it's the reverse you the output becomes the input and then the model has to generate uh, the input okay it's the just flip flipping of uh, the two things so that's uh, the models um for evaluation they are using 26 data sets and the reason they are using those data sets is because they are two lowest resource data set uh, they uh, include glue and super glue and they are from diverse background uh, domains uh, for uh, so they are using 16 examples as demonstration and there are some more details about how many experiments um, they run five five times for five different random seeds and one point uh, one key point here is for uh, other for models except fair sequence and gbt3 all of them have been experimented with 26 data sets only these two models are experiment on uh, experimented on six data sets that includes three classification and three multi-choice because of the resource uh, limited resources 
and then the uh, metrics they use micro uh, f1 for classification and equity for multi choice so so now like um there are four aspects so experiments they they explain experiments for all four aspects uh for let's discuss one by one uh for aspect uh, aspect one so there was no demonstration there was a demonstration with gold label demonstration with random label so what does this mean uh they don't no demonstration means there are no examples this should be only the test input um for demonstration with gold labels is the uh, real the actual labels with it demonstration without random labels is the labels without i mean they are reshuffled but they belong to the same uh, label space and what they found was um no demonstration has a very uh, the blue one has very less uh, um uh, the the performance of the model and for the gold label is the highest and what we expect is when we have random lab random lab labels the performance should decrease significantly but here it is not the case sometimes it also increases which is interesting to see so from this they are uh, concluding that model performance with random label is very close to performance with gold labels okay so and they dig, dig deep down that what happens if we uh, have um, different percentages of uh, gold labels and a random label so here it is 100% correct uh yellow is 0% correct so if you see there is not much difference only gptj has this difference but others they don't so number of gold labels correct gold labels doesn't make uh, much difference uh if you increase the number of examples will it affect uh the results so they found that it doesn't uh with just uh, random it is a little bit lower but not significantly less so it doesn't uh, bother them much uh whether uh correct label happens okay then they uh, experiment with different template what template means is so in all the experiments they are using a minimal with they, they just have like sentence 1 something sentence 2 something and the some add ons okay are uh, the labels for um, manual they added some more um, sent, uh, words as for prompt and they checked whether there is a difference in the performance and then they found there is some difference but not a lot that's what they conclude that it doesn't make much difference um they didn't experiment more about different prompts so maybe that's one of the um, way to go forward um so that's aspect 1 which they concluded that if uh if golden labels are replaced by random labels but they belong to the same label space the model is going to perform like almost similar or little bit less but uh we don't have to have labels uh for our data set which is cool um the second aspect is the distribution of input data set what it means is that we have gold labels and we have random labels in this way and out of distribution means we replace we keep this uh, random uh, labels as it is but we replace this x the input with some uh, external source and what we found now we have to compare this yellow and purple yellow is the random uh, this belongs to this one and this belongs to this case we found that it significantly reduces in almost every uh, case so it is important it is one of the important factors um second is a label space so label space is um if you uh, replace this i mean you keep this thing as it is but if you replace this one with some random english words in that case um you have to compare orange with the green and you always see there's a, a, except few there's uh, decreasing performance so it is also one of the factors so label space is done now the fourth aspect is the format of the sequence so there are uh, the experiment is one with the uh, pair uh, input and the label then only label and then only input so if you see that um x uh, the dark purple is rand only labels a uh, dark green is is only input and if you see in the both the cases um the performance is very less so having the key pair uh the input label pairs is the key they also explain about meta learning meta learning is about the so um meta icl is one of the models which is trained on in learning 
context uh, in learning objective a uh, learning object in context learning objective what it means is they that while training they had demonstrations uh, as input and labels as output so it was trained uh, in in this in context le- learning setup so for that the impact has more so um, basically like uh, meta learning actually helps to retain the in co- uh, context learning uh, um, um, property so that's all about this paper and if you want to go into much detail that's um that's it thank you